it's uh, CDA uh, Ben Davis. And at this point, I'll just turn it over to you to tell us what you came to share. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, well, thanks for carving out a little bit of time. It sounds like you've had a busy day. Um, so I work for Keller Associates. We're a full service civil engineering firm. We have an office in Coeur d'Alene. About half of our business is transportation related. We do a lot of work for different communities, uh, counties like yourself, highway districts, cities. Um, and so I had actually, I managed an office in Kellogg for three and a half years. So I've worked in a lot of these communities over here. I used to work with the old county commissioners and I'd seen that some of the commissioners have recently turned over. So that's exciting. And just thought I'd take a few minutes to come and introduce myself um talk a little bit about our company some of the services we provide and you know i think from our standpoint we do a lot of like the l if you're familiar with the ltac funded and itd funded projects is really um especially for for locals like yourself is where we excel um for example we um we have a bridge project with ltac going for bonner county right now that's under design about a four or five million dollar project um, we're working with uh, Nespers County down in Lewiston area on uh, bridge project construction for, um, and then as well as a planning study for another bridge. So we do a lot of bridges, but also any transportation plans, uh, roadway design, and then construction engineering inspection. So um, that's just a little bit about kind of what we offer about 165 person firm. So we have a lot of resources um available and um we're not you know working for you currently but we'd be mm -hmm. interested if you do have projects that come out in the future that kind of meet that sweet spot okay um, we are i believe putting out an rfq here in the near future for this okay. um uh something that needed to be done to get us caught up so that be something you guys would be interested in responding to that what's the rfq for you don't mind me asking for an engineering company to be able to provide us everything from our engineering with planning and zoning to our road okay road and bridge so you're actually looking for like a traditional county engineer then or, or the service we currently use provides us access to different engineers but okay. depending on finding a zoning or but so we'd be looking for an RFQ for a company to come in and provide us contract serv engineer services. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Certainly. And uh, if you don't mind me asking, I know like historically HMH has provided that, and I have to be clear too. Like I'm not here like trying to. We can't market services that another engineering firm is under contract for. So that's why it's kind of like some of those services like you're talking about that are kind of come out through a request for qualifications that's what we would be interested in so mm -hmm. that's exciting that you're doing that and so i mean just to be clear is are you still retaining we we are still using some of their services um, are looking for but we are looking to do an rfq and then con start a new fresh contract with with whomever we just you know okay. select okay yeah um when you send that out are you going to use are, are you planning to select a few firms to apply that might be interested or is this going to go out kind of basically for anyone to apply we can maybe have him go down and talk to jessica because she's the one that's sending out the rfq and she's working on that right now so i don't know if they've got the names and yeah, yeah. If, if when we're done here if you want i could take you downstairs sure. and introduce you to the public works sure. director yeah yeah uh is that jim case on no he's yeah. gone too oh, okay yeah uh, it's uh jessica stetsky okay um i'm fairly has she been here for she, she was in that here? department before yeah uh, but she's a director now oh cool good for her and um she's the one working on the rfq process for okay. us right now i worked with her on trapper creek bridge yeah okay i, I did the design on that i stamped that bridge um okay. okay yeah no i'd be happy to talk to her about it and yeah it'd be, that'd be something we'd be interested in um beyond you know county road and bridge services what kind of needs do you have in the county over the next couple of years or what are some big items that you see coming up well we contract with for engineering for for p and z questions too okay uh which has been various companies in the past hmh sure. is one i think sure. has done that but those are the two areas that i'm most aware of that we're using engineers yeah yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, we we stay out of planning and zoning a lot in development work. We work in so many different communities that it's hard for us to represent like, you know, planning and zoning and development and then also represent, you know, like the city or the, the district or the county. Um, so most of our work is more like traditional public works type projects. Okay. So what you're talking about that's going to come out in that arc. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So be happy to have you, you know, apply in that process if you're yeah. interested. Yeah, yeah, no, it'd definitely be good to reconnect with Jessica. It's been since Trapper Creek Bridge that I've, I've met with her, so that's exciting. She's a new director. A lot of new faces here, like everybody yeah. in this room. I mean, she's been with the county for, I won't say years. I recognize your name for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I've um, yeah, been here about 10 years. Okay. Yeah. I almost said forever. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, but. No, it's not yeah. that long. No, it's not that long. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. So she's she started when she was two. So yeah, she's just, she's really younger. <laughs> I'm trying to you dig my hole. Well. I'm trying to dig out of this hole here. Yeah. Yeah. Um. No, that's. I, I, I'm glad that we were able to connect. Like I said, I'd you know seen that there are some new commissioners, and I worked with Mike Fitzgerald a bit in the past. Seems like he's over at the City of Kellogg he's now. He's Kellogg. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bummer that um. Oh, um, what's Kellogg's old? Mac? Mayor? No, uh, well, Craig. Yeah, oh, Craig. Craig, Craig yeah, Lewis. That was a loss, yeah. So, I, yeah, I did. Um, I worked with Craig a lot on the Kellogg sewer, water, and roadway project, $32 million project. I worked for four years with Craig, so mm -hmm. that was sad to see him go. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah. Yeah, so what... um. In in the RFQ, you know, what are some maybe some of the services that you're really looking for in terms of your road and bridge? I think we're going to probably have to rely on Jessica, who's writing it, to sure help us with the details. Sure. Um, I couldn't I couldn't tell you, but uh, I I assume we're going to cover all the areas that we're currently using engineering support mm -hmm. for, and so that's been everything from road design to Having to examine the grade and change the grade at the airport the other day, you know, yep. in front of some hangers to, to um, just you know, um, I've been involved with Jim as we've talked about traffic revisions with Jim Roletto with mm -hmm. HMH, so I know we've consulted him on some projects like where we're possibility of moving some streets and, mm -hmm. or, or county roads. Um, uh, so I think. For more detail, though, we'd need to ask Jessica on that. Okay. Yeah, certainly. Unless one of you happens to know more than I do about that, but no, I think Jessica, since she's doing the uh, RFQ, I think that would be the one we probably need to talk to. He could probably give you the best yeah. heads yeah. up on that. Who's helping you guys right now with your funding applications and you know your grants and? We've got a grant writer right now. You do. Yeah. And the, and your um, one thing that's nice about our industry right now is there is a lot of funding mm -hmm. so I, I i think you guys are on it's like been the, excellent uh, yeah good. we've got a great administrator mm -hmm. yeah public works does a lot of their own uh with mm -hmm. the ltac stuff okay and that that's one thing jessica excels at but um but we do have a county grant writer as well okay uh, we utilize an engineering company for the airport grants mm -hmm. the grant management but i I couldn't tell you the name of the company at the moment. It saves yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, trade. TO engineers. TO. Oh, yeah. They do a lot of airport stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, that is something, you know, we offer kind of cradle to grave services, everything from the grant administration and helping clients get funding all the way through planning, design, and construction. So, um, but that's good to hear that you already have you know, someone on board helping you with the grants. Um, were you, are you are you guys get, did you get some of the leading Idaho local bridge program? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. have Projects like eight or nine bridges. Nine bridges. Okay, yeah. you have eight or nine. Yeah, really? Yeah. Well, you have a lot of bridges though. I mean, there's we like a lot five thousand or ten thousand crossings or something. And we have a lot County. of bridges. Yeah. yeah. So we, I think we have nine that were funded. Okay. So. So with the last commissioners, we um, we proposed on the. Um, Pine Creek bridges, that three bridge bundle up above uh, Pinehurst. 
and so we lost by like half a point to HMH. But oh. uh, yeah, we were really hoping to get that project. That that's one that's really in our sweet spot. But we so for the Leading Idaho Local Bridge um, program, that RFQ that came out for the state, um, our, we actually ranked first in the state for that program. So we have our bundle is in Southeast Idaho though, but we're actually delivering tomorrow our first aid bridges for Southeast Idaho for Madison County. Um, City of Swan Valley, Bonneville County, and Fremont County there. So, yeah, we've been, we have like, I don't know, same as you guys, a bunch of them. So mm -hmm. that's good to hear you're taking advantage of that. Yeah, I think almost all of them she submitted were. Yeah, we just got another one like two weeks ago. So, yeah. yeah. So, got a lot of bridge building going on here. Yeah. For, for the next two years, anyway. Well, that's important for public safety and you know environmental factors and expanding you know future roadways that need to expand and you know become wider to meet yeah. current roadway standards and uh, yeah has okay. the go ahead sorry oh, no go ahead has so i know that the silver valley um and i believe currently is operating all under one transportation plan for all the communities has anyone ever thought about you know breaking that off and doing like their own exclusive transportation plan each year LTAC has money so aside for that um couldn't tell you yeah yeah couldn't tell you that, that could be wrong right? go ahead sorry i mean jessica might know public yeah. works but i i don't have that information yeah yeah and i've only been to one of the meetings so far so and i went with the rope um crew so. Okay. They would probably know a little bit more where they're at on that. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just getting up to speed on it. Yeah, definitely. Um, no, any any questions for me? I mean, our office, just a little bit about our office in Coeur d'Alene. Like I said, our company is about 165 employees. We have about 15 staff in Coeur d'Alene. Uh, we offer most of the services that our company provides. So we have, I lead our transportation group in Coeur d'Alene, but we have a bridge engineer there. Uh, inspector, we have a land surveyor, um, you know, an administrator, uh, our office manager, uh, three or four, four PEs, four PEs, few EIs, um, a couple drafters. So we have a whole range of services in our Fort Lane office. We've grown beyond just that satellite office size. And mm. um, yeah. When you said all is one, kind of explain what you're referring to on the transportation. All like the cities have their own and transportation plan yeah oh yeah um as so when i when i ran an office over here from uh in kellogg from 2018 to 21 all um communities in the silver valley all operated under one silver valley transportation yeah. plan okay it's still the same then which is you know it's be it's better than nothing but as communities grow you know, and I think, you know, just driving around the block here, you start to see some of these communities. And I know you don't represent necessarily just Wallace, you're, you know, Shoshone mm -hmm. County, but um, it's beneficial to have that plan uh, to help you position for some of those roadway projects and improvements that, you know, are uh, needed immediately all the way through 20 years out and then have some costs that you're able to then you know, when LTAC has grants come available, you're able to take this project out of your plan, show them that this has been an approved transportation plan. It costs this much and it helps you position to get your projects completed. Good information. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Any questions from the board? No, okay. I think I'd any know. other thoughts are from you on anything else that you'd like to add? I don't think so. I'd love to reconnect with with Jessica and learn a little think, bit more about your. I think yeah. they're there until four, so okay. We, okay. we can go down. And I'll take yeah. you down there and do and reintroduce. Um, all right, we're all done here. Then uh, this meeting is adjourned, and I'll take you Thank downstairs. You. Yeah. yeah.